Yes, I know this exists. Joey versus the Shizu. And it's a original series love. But you know what? We don't see a Shizu versus Joey very often. So fair to him, I guess. No, Joey. I am not. You're not? Of course not. I have already foreseen this weekend's champions with my Millennium Necklace. The winner will be of no surprise to me. <laughs> not what I expected she to look like, You're but, you know, I'm not complaining. You're not even the top cut, Joey. Only because they wouldn't let me in the tournament. Can you believe they told me my deck isn't legal? And why not? Eh, the judges told me that my deck doesn't fit the advanced format, whatever that is. They also told me that I can't use one of the cards in my deck because it hasn't been released yet. No. But that's crazy. Of course it's been released. Otherwise, it wouldn't be right here in my deck. You wouldn't have won anyway, Joey. <gasps> Rude. Did you use your Millennium Necklace to see that? No, I used common sense. <laughs> oh, man. That's hard. <laughs> Duel is over. Season <laughs> one. I'm really itching for a duel. No one seems to want to take on the We don't need a duel me. anymore. And his illegal deck. Ah, my deck is perfect. I don't want to change a single card in it. Is she, so this, is the, she is, this is an anime duel wish, at the very Joey, least. But I must warn Fuck you, my law. victory is fated for our duel, and I already know exactly how I'm going to win it. Yeah, we'll see about that. Let's, Let's duel. duel! We'll roll to see who goes first. This may be a bit more towards the original series, which I'm not a fan of, but at least we're bringing right, out the characters we don't see very often, like Looks a like Shizu and Claude Van I said a must have faced down and end my turn. But, you know... Bring out the characters you don't see very often. Is that all? Uh, yeah, that's all I got. One that's your legal card. First turn. Now it's my turn. I draw. <laughs> alternative fiber jar, you I'll say? Start my turn by activating Probably Red Eyes Alternative Black Throne. Dragon. This card lets me add a Gravekeeper's monster from my deck to my hand. I'll add Gravekeeper's Commandant to my hand. I'm glad they gave a Shizu and um, next. I Merit Grave Keepers. Seems fitting for them, considering they didn't really have a deck in the original series. It was just a bunch of random crap. Now, I activate Necro Valley. Necro Valley? So I would have preferred they gave her a fairy deck, in like to other agents of my Necro Valley the planets in that criterion. But, you know, I claim. All Grave Keepers monsters by 500. Like this monster, for example. I summon Grave Keepers Spear Soldier. Now, can do piercing. Great Keeper Spear Soldier, attack Joey's face down monster. You destroyed my Mystic Tomato and my battleship. Since I'm in defense mode, I don't lose any life points. Think uh, again, wrong. Joey. My Great Keeper Spear Soldier my inflicts battleship. piercing Yahtzee. damage, which means you lose life points equal to the difference between my Joey's monster's face. attack points and your monster's what? defense points. Since your Mystic Tomato has 1,100 defense points yeah, it's and a my Spear Soldier has 2,000 attack points, you lose 900 life points. Ah, oh, man. But my Mystic Tomato's effect still the microphones activates. microphones are so small. When it's destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, I get to special summon a dark oh, monster no, I'm sorry, points. I see the poles behind them, and I think that's the, the microphones. The game, they're wearing, um... Yes, they're wearing tablets. Thank I you. I set a face no luck with the Blackstone of Legend, eh? Uh, let me just Here we go. take care of this real quick. Why First, is the blue eyes theme playing? The effect of the Blackstone Legend. By tributing the Blackstone Legend, I get the special Sorry, I'm turning off the tablet to make sure that doesn't happen again. And there's no substitute for the original. Come out, red eyes, black dragon! There, that got a pop at the very least. How do you like that, Ishizu? Are you quaking at When no one likes you, dragon? summon a nostalgia no, monster. No keepers have nothing on my dragon. That is quite impressive. And I'm not even done. Next, I activate Polymerization. I fuse together Masaki, the legendary swordsman, and Flame Manipulator oh, to summon my point. favorite monster, the Flame Swordsman. I'm just and more shocked that we summon one more monster joining the brigade. I summon Blue Flame Swordsman. Ooh. He's bringing the heat. Now Sadly, Green battle. Flame Swordsman has not been Black printed Dragon. yet. Attack and destroy the Shizu's Gravekeeper Spear Soldier! I saw that coming. Which is why I said script. this ancient trap yeah. card. Oh, now I remember. Since you attacked, yeah, I can activate my widespread ruin. That's it. That's what I was talking about. Oh! This Getting really OG. This card destroys the monster on your field with the highest attack points. Farewell, Red Eyes. <sighs> 
since your two remaining monsters only have 1,800 attack points each, but my Gravekeeper's monster has 2,000 attack points, you won't be getting through Except to my life Except Blue Flame Swordsman's effect. Think again. I activate my Blue Flame Swordsman's special ability. Once per turn, during the battle phase, I can transfer 600 of my Blue Flame Swordsman's attack points over to another warrior on my field. I'll transfer those attack points to my Flame Shoot Swordsman. Shoot fire at it. Now my Flame Swordsman has 2,400 attack points. But Blue Flame only has 1,200. Flame Swordsman! Attack and destroy a Sheezer's Gravekeeper Spear Soldier. 400 damage. You lose 400 life points, and your monster is destroyed. Mm. And I'm not done yet. Now, Blue Flame <laughs> Meanwhile, Swordsman, attack Spider-Man gets directly. Thanos. Mm. You lose another 1,200 life points. Mm. Even if the sound effect was a little off. Time I set a everything. card face down and end my turn. I draw a card. I do find it funny though how James is behind First, Joey because it's a little to off field. topic, but the guy who voices Next, Joey also voices Cyrus, so it's like they're best friends in, in a sense. What are you going to add to your hand this time, Ishizu? I won't be using it to add a card to my hand, Joey. Necrovelli Throne has two separate effects. This time, I'm using its other effect. Hmm. <laughs> two effects? The throne's second Get used effect to it, lets Joey. me summon a Gravekeeper's monster Cards have like nine effects hand. nowadays. I'll use it to summon Gravekeeper's Descendant. I'm waiting for the Next, day where we have card text that's so card long, we actually need a second card to script out, like, now, I summon Blue Flame Swordsman, and then I summon the other half of Blue Flame Swordsman, so we can finish reading hands. this frickin' text. Gravekeeper's Assailant, attack and destroy Joey's Flame Swordsman. Doesn't need what to are you doing, Shizu? Oh, wait, no, My flame the attack still has 2400 attack points boosted. It's permanent. Your assailant only has 2,000 attack points. I thought this was your attack points. My sword was going to win. In face. I activate my assailant's and special ability. Since the last Nick Romali is on my sword field, sword. I can use my Gravekeeper's assailant's effect to change the battle position of one monster on your field. Sword, but I switch I your flame swordsman into defense position. Ah, man. My flame swordsman only has 1,600 defense points. Which means it's destroyed by my assailant. Hmm. Now, Gravekeeper's Descendant, attack and destroy jo Bl Joey's Blue Flame Swordsman. Since your Blue Flame Swordsman only has 1,200 attack like points, the, uh, you MR4 lose 800 life though. points, and your Blue Flame Swordsman is destroyed. Link format, if you want to call it like that. Uh, you may have destroyed <laughs> my Blue Flame Swordsman, but now its effect activates. Since Blue you destroyed effects? it, I can banish it from my graveyard to special summon a Fire Warrior-type monster from my graveyard. My flame swordsman is coming back to my field. No, it isn't. It isn't? Why not? I'll give you two reasons. First, Necro Valley stops all cards from being banished from the graveyard. Second, Necro Valley negates all card effects that would move any cards from the graveyard to any other place. So not only are you unable to banish your blue flame swordsman from your graveyard, but even if you could, crowd. you wouldn't be able to special summon your flame swordsman. Oh, man. How was I supposed to know that? That Reading the card? card is so annoying. I set four I'm with cards you, Joey. I remember when Necro Valley was a turn. menace. It can still be annoying every it's once in a while. Move. Hold on, Ishizu. Before your turn is over, I'm going to activate my face down card. I don't trust what you have down there. I guess you could say I have a sixth sense about these things. Oh, boy. Which is why I'm activating my sixth sense trap card before you can flip over any of your face down cards. I like how the deck was illegal, not because now, he has a card. Not because he has a legal card in his deck legitimately. It's because he has a card that isn't over here yet. I get to draw that many cards. If you roll a different number, I send a number of cards equal to whatever number you roll from the top of my deck to my graveyard. I choose five and six. Come on, Lady Luck. Roll the seven somehow. All right. You roll the five. That means I get to draw five cards. How much one of bed was a six? Now it I'll was draw a, another card for the start of my uh, turn. Yeah, all the sides said five. I can't believe how many cards are in my now. hand. You're in trouble, Ishizu. First, I'll blow away your Necro Valley and your... Ishizu activates Trickstar Reincarnation and draw a Mockbird. Fuck you! Yes, that's right. You heard me. Now all those cards are returning to your hand. Not so fast, Joey. I activate my trap card, Imperial Tombs of Necro Valley. What's that do? When a spell, trap, or monster effect is activated while a Gravekeeper's monster and Necro Valley are both on the field, this counter trap card negates the activation of your card and destroys it. Not gonna lie, given all the OG cards are expecting it. I was expecting magic jammer. The Imperial Tombs of Necro Valley. Fine. 
There's more than one way to get Necro Valley off of your Hey, field. True Nate. I summon Gear Free, the Red Eyes Iron Knight. Uh, okay. Next, I equip my Gear Free with Lightning Blade. Mm. Lightning Blade increases the attack points of an equipped warrior by 800. But more importantly, it allows me to use my Gear Free special ability. Once per turn, if Gear Free is equipped with a card, I can destroy that equip card and then destroy one of your spell or trap cards. Oh, no. Yeah. I'll destroy my lightning blade with Gearfreed's effect and take down your Necro Valley with it. He hasn't, she has another Imperial, you think? The Grave Keeper's monsters no. aren't so tough without that Necro Valley, and my turn is just getting started. Now that Necro Valley is off of your feet, I, I got a bunch of other moves to make. That, oh, no. First, I activate <laughs> like, Monster oh, Report, no, a special I'm summon so Red Eyes Black Dragon from my graveyard. <laughs> Next, I tribute Red Eyes Archfiend the Lightning from my hand to special summon Red Eyes Alternative Black Dragon. Oh, so that's probably the illegal card. Red Eyes Alternative Black Dragon. Yeah, it's a piece of shit. With my Millennium no. <laughs> Necklace, I foresee that card being released on August 30th in the 2019 Gold Sarcophagus Tin. How do you already have it? Uh, oh, some sorry, don't mind me saying my calendar. Tins early. He said he didn't want this card because it reminded me of him of me, and he gave it to me, and he also said something about uh, third-rate duelists and fourth-rate decks. <laughs> I don't really remember what. I stopped listening after he gave me the card. Anyway, I can I love special Joey. summon my Red Eyes Alternative Black Dragon Joey's just voice by tributing too, any but I just Red Eyes monster from my hand or field. And by Red Eyes Archfiend, the lightning fits the bill. Now, Red Eyes Alternative Black Dragon, use your 2400 attack points to attack and destroy a Sheezer's Gravekeeper's Descendant. Oh, Joey, you fell right into my trap. No, way. When you tribute Red Eyes Archfiend of Lightning from your hand to summon Red Eyes Alternative Black uh -oh. Dragon, the trap was placed. I set a bomb in your red eyes arch. Blast held by a tribute. Over to your red eyes alternative black dragon when you tributed it. Doing so has allowed me to activate this card when you attacked with your dragon. Blast held by a tribute. You know what's funny? In Duel Links, Ashizu is the only character so far that does not have a summoning animation. Points. Unless you want to count like ca event character clear. sort of summoning yeah, animations, yeah, but. But it won't be she's the only playable I character that does not have a summon animation, as far as I know. You'd think they'd at least give her like a blast up by a tribute animation, like a heart exploding or something, but no. I can special summon this card from my it's hand weird. in defense mode and special summon my destroyed monsters back to the field. Oh. My red eyes black dragon and red eyes alternative black dragon return to the field in the entire series. And that's not all. I'll also activate the effect of my red eyes alternative black dragon. Since it was destroyed by your card's effect, I can special summon a level 7 or lower Red Eyes monster from my bring back Archfiend. I special summon Red Eyes Archfiend of Lightning to my field in attack mode. Good thing Necro Valley's gone. This would have been a problem. Now, Red Eyes Alternative Black Dragon, attack Ashizu's Gravekeeper's Descendant again. You don't Alternative know Fire down. Blast. I activate Mirror Force. Alternative Inferno. So we just cannot get a break today. All monsters on your field in attack mode are now destroyed. Oh man. Alternative effect is once per turn. That just means my red eyes alternative black dragon's effect activates once again. Fuck me then. I get to special summon another level seven or lower. I assumed it was once radar. per turn. And this time, I special summon red eyes black dragon. Guess that's what I get for not fully understanding a card that hasn't been printed yet dragon. in the TC. Red eyes black dragon. Although she's who told us when, so my red eyes alternative yeah. black dragon. Its attack points are doubled. My red eyes black dragon now has 4,800 attack points. And since you only have 2,400 life points, and your great keeper's descendant only has 1,500 attack points, one attack over your descendant will finish you off. She's not wrong. Black dragon, attack and she's his great keeper's descendant and end this duel. Ultimate Inferno Fire Blast. <laughs> Did you really think it was going to be that easy? I activate my trap card. Enchanted Javelin. Oh. This trap card increases my life points by the attack points Breath of an attacking scepter. monster. Since your red eyes has 4,800 attack points, I gain 4,800 life points. Then the attack goes 2,400 plus 4,800. That's, uh, uh, let me think, uh, calculator? Uh, we'll get it. We'll get it. 7,200 life points. You may have... 7,200 life points for now. So I'm going to get Joey a TI-83. And a big chunk of those life points. Red Eyes Inferno Fire Blast. 
I said one she still has more life points than when she started, though. I draw. First, I activate Pot of Greed. Hmm. I like how Pot of Greed gets a pop. This card lets me draw two cards from my deck. At least it didn't make Next, the What Does It Do I activate name. Pot of Desires. Hmm. I I'd rather the third rig do the fourth rig deck of the Pot of Greed. To draw honestly. two more cards. Now. I summon Gravekeeper's Headman to the field. What? Gravekeeper's Headman? I activate its effect. That doesn't sound very child-friendly. I can target a level 4 Gravekeeper's monster in my graveyard and special summon it into face-up attack position or face-down defense position. I'll use its effect to special summon Gravekeeper's Descendant back from the graveyard. Nice to have a Yu-Gi-Oh card that is confirmed to give good head. Now, I'll activate my Gravekeeper's Descendant's effect. I contribute another Gravekeeper's monster I control to destroy a card on your field. I'll tribute my Hetman to destroy your Red Eyes Black Dragon. Oh no! At least you oh, still yes. have Retro Dragon, Now Joey. I activate Polymerization. Gravekeeper's Fusion Monster? I fuse the two Gravekeepers on my field together to summon Gravekeeper's Supernaturalist. My Supernaturalist has 2,000 attack points to start, <laughs> but gains another 100 attack points for each level in the fusion materials used to summon it. Terrible Since four. both of its fusion materials were level 4 monsters, my Supernaturalist gains 800 attack points, bringing it up to 2,800. I assume that stat boost is permanent. Once Necro Valley is back on my field, my Supernaturalist and my Necro Valley will also be able, will also be immune to destruction by card effects thanks to my Supernaturalist effect. It's like Malefic Stardust Great Dragon. Gravekeeper Supernaturalist. Attack and destroy Joey's Red Eyes Retro Dragon. Am I the one who wants to see Paradox come back in these? Spider. First, Probably yes, I roll a six I can dream. Die. Then I get to use an effect, depending on the roll. If I get lucky, I can destroy your monster, negate your monster's attack, or even inflict 2,800 points of damage You're gonna to get one of the negative points, effects. And I feel lucky. You are Joey Wheeler. No way. I rolled a one. That ha you have your life Thanks. points. You jinxed me. <laughs> ah, man. Now my life One guy called Good Luck Joey or something like that. It looks like that didn't go as you planned, but it was just as I foresaw. Joey is still the Aubrey of a four-leaf clover and a horse shooting and a rabbit's foot just for good luck. I set a enough. card. But even he's had his bad rolls. He has failed Time Wizard once. I and his duel against Bones in Duel's Kingdom. Activating this effect in my main phase allows me to add a Gravekeeper's Monster or Necro Valley card from my deck to my hand in the end phase. I'll end my turn and add Gravekeeper's Spiritualist to my hand with my Supernaturalist's effect. Hmm. It's your move. I Are the cards. Not so fast, Joey. I activate my trap card, Necro Valley Temple. Once per turn, during the main phase, if I don't have a card in my field zone, this trap card lets me activate Necro Valley directly from my it's hand to graveyard. I'll use its effect to return Necro Valley Makes from sense. my graveyard to my field. Okay, it's Metaverse for the graveyard, <laughs> but Valley's still. Back. Now that I have a Gravekeeper's okay. monster and Necro Valley on my field, hand, so my Necro Valley Temple handles also everything decreases the attack except the and defense zone. points of all monsters on your field by 500. And of course, Necro Valley increases the attack points of my Gravekeeper Supernaturalist to 3300. Eh. And thanks to Spiritual's effect, both me. are immune I to everything, essentially. Arcana just His comes in. That's one of my cards, young hits, Joey. I get to draw two cards. I flip tails, you get to draw two cards instead. That's a bit risky, isn't it? Part of the coins guide me. Shizu, Joey Risky Wheeler. Here we go. Yes. Oh man, I got tails. Joey! I'll draw two cards from my deck. Yeah, it's just a minor setback. I still have lots of moves I can make. Like this Joey one has used all of his luck on I six cents. Red eyes in sight. Now. I get to send one red eyes monster from my deck to my graveyard to add a red eyes spell or trap card from my deck to my hand. Sure, right? you know, I sent red eyes wire to my graveyard me, to Pegasus add red eyes draw. fusion to my hand. When Pegasus is using Burning Abyss. Next, because I why not, I guess. 
Discard lets me fusion summon a monster that uses a red eyes monster as a fusion material by using monsters from my hand, deck, or graveyard well, as fusion materials. Well, I'm already thinking that Joy will continue. He has to be She's just great keepers. Are they are still and new, but not as new. The same turn. I'll fuse the level seven red eyes black flare dragon and the level six media dragon red eyes impact from my deck to make media black comet dragon. Give me a sec. I there we go. Louder than that. My monster has 3,500 original attack points, plus an awesome effect. If it's fusion summoned, I get to send a red-eyes monster from my hand or deck to my graveyard and inflict damage to your life points equal to half of that monster's original attack points. I send red-eyes black metal dragon from my deck to my you graveyard. Metal dragon? Effect. <laughs> Since oh, my what am I going to I thought it was darkest metal points, dragon for a second. I shouldn't be surprised if he has black metal dragon. Next, I'll it is Joey after all. Black metal dragon. I can equip my black metal dragon to any red eyes monster I control. And since my Silly me, I thought you would be playing with good cards. Then again, dragon, fusion, I guess. That my media black comet dragon. Six black sense. metal dragon increases the equipped monster's attack points to 600. Even with your Necro Valley Temple weakening my monster, that brings its attack points up to a grand total of 3,600. I rank the engine in water with all the birds. Math. Now, attack is Caesar's Gravekeeper Supernaturalist. Since your Supernaturalist has 3,300 attack points, you lose 300 life points, and your monster is destroyed. I set one card face 3, down before ending my turn. Oh, I know. Rare Metal Dragon gave it a power boost as well. Maybe. I draw. First, I activate Pot of Extravagance. Ooh. Now, <laughs> that got a pop. Six random cards face down from my extra drag deck yeah, to chills. draw two cards. No, no. I don't know. Next, I activate Gravekeeper Steel. That lets her This card is unaffected by Necro Valley and lets me return two Gravekeeper's monsters from my graveyard to my hand. I know this, that I'll use its effect ones. to return Gravekeeper Spear Soldier and Gravekeeper's Assailant me. to my hand. Okay, let me get, now, hold on, let me get them I first. I spell card. Tribute to the Doomed. Yeah. I shouldn't be surprised by an OG card. I discard Gravekeeper Spear Soldier from my hand to destroy your Meteor Black Comet Dragon. Comet Dragon is a floating effect. Normally, when my Meteor Black Comet Dragon is sent from my field to my graveyard, I get to special summon a normal monster from my graveyard. But Necro but Valley doesn't want that happen. Valley still face up on the field, I can't use that effect. And that means you're defenseless. But hmm. I can still use the effect of my Black Metal Dragon. Since it was sent to the graveyard with my Meteor Black Comet Dragon, my Black Metal Dragon's effect lets me add a Red Eyes card from my deck to my hand. I choose Red Eyes Baby Dragon! Even so, you have no monsters left on your field to defend you. But the face sounds cool now with chain. I Grave Keeper Spiritualist. With Necro Valley on my field. I do like how there's a bit of an arc in this one with Joey. Just can't get a break. Points, which is more than enough for it's a rarity in Yu-Gi-Oh! for Joey to have bad luck. Points. So, you know, when it comes Grave up, Keeper it's Spiritualist? kind of nice. Attack Joey just directly and pace. end this duel. I'm not out of this duel yet, Ishizu. I activate my trap card, Nutrient C. Ooh. When I'm about to take 2,000 or more points of damage, this card gives me 4,000 life points first. That means I'm up to 4,650 like life C. points. I kind of like this idea. My Gravekeeper Spiritualist still attacks directly, and you lose 2,000 life points. I don't know. I'm weird. I set a card and then end my turn. Kairos already played Dimension Fusion right about now. I draw. First, I activate Pot of Greed. <laughs> this card lets me draw two more cards. Next, I activate Pot of Desires. There's so much pot here. Are we in Colorado? The top ten cards of my deck face down to draw two more Is that joke still relevant? Come no, on, I didn't think so. Give me what I want. Awesome! Now I, I hadn't even checked, Joe. Two devil walks in. Six sided dice. dice. If I roll a two, three, or four, you're a little late to the party, Duke, but yes. On the field. If I roll a five, I get to destroy two spell or trap cards on the field. But if I roll a one or a six, I lose 1,000 life points. Let's go. Nine. What? All right, I rolled a five. Now I get to destroy two of your spell and trap cards. I'll destroy Necro Valley, and I'll destroy your Necro Valley Temple so that you can't bring Necro Valley back. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. The effect of my Necro Valley Temple activates. 
If it's destroyed by your card effect and sent to my graveyard, I can set a Necro Valley card from the from my deck. I set me. Necro Valley Throne. Now I summon my Red Eyes Baby Dragon. I guess it's not Royal Tribute, but, but that's not, not a Necro Valley card. I banish it to special summon Red Eyes Darkness Metal. Oh, you do run Darkness hand. Metal. Yeah, I can special summon Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon by banishing any dragon from my field. And once per turn, my monster lets me special summon any dragon from my hand or graveyard. I'll activate its effect to special summon Meteor Black Comet Dragon from my graveyard. Next, I pay 1,000 life points to activate Summon Dice. Hmm. He summons Orgoth the Relentless. Now, I get to roll a six-sided die. If I roll a one or a two, I get to normal summon a monster. If I roll a three or a four, I get to special summon a monster from my graveyard. And if I roll a five or a six, we don't even need I get away, to special summon cannon. a monster from my hand. Here we go. Sweet. I rolled a four. That means I'm special summoning Red Eyes Black Flare Dragon from my graveyard. Then you're going to be able to use its Gemini. You're oh, wait, no, we already Shizu. summoned Baby Dragon. I got three powerful dragons on my field. Media Black Common Dragon, attack and destroy Ashizu's Gravekeeper Spiritualist. I activate Wabaku. Oh. Mm. This card protects my monster from battle and reduces all battle damage to zero I for the turn. I thought I saw that on Ashizu's hand, but I didn't want to say anything. Because I didn't know half the Gravekeeper's cards. Look how powerful my monsters are. There's no way you get through all of them. I'll set a card face Joe, you just got turn. cocky in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. You lost. This duel is going exactly as I predicted. I draw. Uh oh. First, I activate my face down Necro Valley throne to summon Gravekeeper's Priestess from my hand. I just set the throne. Next, a bluff? I activate Monster Reborn. Oh, to no, that's right. The Gravekeeper's Headman thing. from my I forgot graveyard. about the floating effect. I use my Headman's effect to special summon Gravekeeper Spear Soldier in attack position. <laughs> let me just skip the now, hand to summon. The just well, let me just do this. Spiritualist. During my main phase, if Necro Valley is on the field, I can fusion summon a spellcaster type fusion monster from my extra deck using my spiritualist and cards in my hand or on my field as fusion materials. But Necro Valley isn't on your field, Ishizu. Look again, Joey. As long as my Gravekeeper's oh, Priestess, Priestess is on my field, effect. its effect causes the field to be created, to be treated as Necro Valley. That means and I'm free to use to my Spiritualist effect. No I'll fuse the Spiritualist on my field with the Gravekeeper's Assailant in my hand to fusion summon another Gravekeeper Supernaturalist. I activate my trap card, Deep Dark Trap Hole. Mm. When a level 5 or higher effect monster is special summoned, my deep dark trap hole banishes it from the duel. I guess your monster's supernatural powers aren't all that they're cracked up to be. Joey, you forgot. I'll chain diffusion. I'll split my supernaturalist back into the two monsters that, that were used to summon it. That spiritualist would have been immune due to the effect of it and priestess combined now, to make Necro Valley. I have five monsters on the field. So what? My tree dragons are way stronger. Mitch You're missing the big picture, Joey. I tribute Gravekeeper's Spiritualist, Gravekeeper's Priestess, no. and Gravekeeper's Hetman. I summon thee, Obelisk. What? Doctor. Obelisk. Obelisk the Tormentor. No way. <laughs> I told Kaiba that Obelisk would one day be returned to me. My Obelisk the Tormentor. I guess Kaiba was like, okay, fine, fine, just get off my back. But I'm about to make it even stronger. I tribute Gravekeeper's Spear Soldier and Gravekeeper's Assailant to use Obelisk's effect. Obelisk's effect? By tributing two monsters, my Obelisk's power becomes infinite. I can't believe it! Obelisk the Tormentor. Finish off Joey and his so monsters and end theory. this duel. Fist of Fate! Ah. Good game, though, Joey. Good game. I can't believe I lost. Joey, you dueled well, but you couldn't escape what fate had in store for you. A punch yeah, you to the face. Next time we duel, there's no way I'll lose. <laughs> That's what you think.